Welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to explain how you can use the Polkadot staking dashboard. Before diving into today's tutorial, if you find these videos helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below, as this will help other people to find our content. And if there is something that we didn't cover yet and you're interested in, drop us a message. And here we are on the Polkadot staking dashboard. We are currently connected to an RPC node on the Kusama network. The first thing that we can uh, see is that uh, we can switch between different networks and currently we can switch between Polkadot, Kusama and Westend. Westend is a testnet and Kusama is uh, the canary network of uh, Polkadot and uh, we will use this, um, this network for this tutorial because uh, this tutorial is a continuation of uh, two previous videos where we nominated and uh, we joined a pool. So if you don't uh, know how to do that, please see the link in the description below. There are a couple of features. Here we can uh, switch between light and dark mode. We can also enable and disable some settings. For example, here we have a dashboard tips and uh, the subscan API. Here they're both enabled. These are the tips, so it's a banner that uh, is telling you what uh, you might want to do while you are nominating. And uh, the Subscan API, this is basically fetching the rewards and um, you will see the history of your previous rewards in here together with uh, a 10-day average. So if uh, we disable both of them, we can see Subscan disabled, the banner with the tips is gone and uh, also under payout, we cannot see the payout anymore. So for this tutorial, we will leave them enabled. We can also see the GitHub repository of uh, the dashboard and we can reduce the sidebar like this. Here we can also notice that we have attached stash and controller accounts and uh, we have joined a pool. Remember that uh, if you're staking on Polkadot, on Kusama, you, it is recommended to have uh, two different accounts. The stash account is the one that is uh, as isolated as possible and contains most of the funds. And remember that isolation is key because uh, every time that you're signing for something, uh, you're exposing the private key to the internet and uh, there is a potential risk that this private key can be stolen. So the more the funds you have on an account and that account must be isolated. And this is the, um, the aim of the controller because uh, the controller is basically signing on behalf of the Stash account for staking related transactions. Under the overview, we can see the Stash account. We also have a snapshot of uh, the current uh, staking uh, statistics. For example, we have uh, the total number of nominators and uh, here the number of active uh, nominators. We can see that they are less than the total number of nominators. Remember that if you want to earn rewards, you need to have the minimum active bond and uh, you need to be in the um, first 256 nominators in the validator that you are nominating. So, and these 256 nominators are ranked by stake, which means that if you don't have uh, enough tokens to be in these 256, you will not receive rewards even if uh, the validator is active. Here we can see some information about the active era, and the time left before next era kicks in. As already mentioned, we have uh, the tips, the dashboard tips here, managing nominations. This is important because um, nominating on Polkadot is not uh, a set and forget action. You have to track the performance of uh, your validators. Then uh, you can also manage your pool membership. Uh, you can review the payout history. In this case, we don't have any because we just uh, started to nominate. And you can also measure the performance of uh, your validators. You have uh, specific metrics and we will see this in a bit. The balance of the stash account with uh, the allocation. For example, here we have 0.1 KSM that um, is currently bonded for nominating. And we have 0.005 KSM that is bonded because we are a member of a pool. And the rest is a free transferable balance. This is the existential deposit. If your account drops below this uh, existential deposit, your account will be ripped and uh, the remaining funds will be burned. Basically, you don't have enough funds 
in your um, account to perform um, useful uh, actions on chain. And uh, your account is considered to be a Dust account. And in order to save space on the blockchain, these Dust accounts are basically removed from it. And this is basically the annual percentage amount of your bonded token that you will be paid uh, as a nominator. This is the inflation of the network. And here we have the percentage of the total supply that is state. And uh, some more information about uh, how many pools are active, how many KSM are currently bonded in the pools, and uh, also 250 pool members are actively bonding in pools. Uh, this information will likely change depending on the, the activity on the chain and how the governance of the, cha of the chain uh, proceed um, in the future. Under the menu stake, we can see that uh, under nominate and pools we are active, which means that we are nominating and we are member of a pool. Let's go and see the nominate menu. We have uh, one active nomination out of 16 and nine out of 16 uh, of our nomination are inactive. Let's go in um, deeper detail here in the nominations. We can see that um, Rodus Capital, the, this validator is currently active. So we are, our bonded tokens are used to nominate this uh, validator and we are currently earning rewards based on the performance of uh, this uh, validator. While there are validators that are inactive, this means that uh, these validators are currently producing blocks in this era, but um, the bonded tokens that we have are not used to nominate those validators. And uh, some validators are also waiting, which means that uh, they are currently, they're not currently producing blocks in this era, but they will likely do it in the future. If we focus on uh, our active validator, we can see the amount of uh, bonded tokens that uh, we have with this validator. We can, also we can also see the validator commission. This is the percentage of uh, the rewards that are paid out at the end um, of each era that is going to pay for uh, the work that the validator is doing and the rest will be paid out to the nominators. If we click on the graph icon here, we have some detailed information and uh, some useful metrics about this validator. For example, the self stake, this is how many tokens this validator uh, bonded. And uh, it is important that uh, there is some self stake because uh, this means that the validator has something to lose if uh, there is, uh, for example, a slash. It is basically a metric that uh, will tell you that uh, it has uh, all the, this validator has uh, all the interest of behave uh, well and um, be active on chain because uh, if something goes wrong, he will likely lose the, the self stake or part of it. The nominator stake is uh, this one here. This is basically the amount of tokens that is coming from uh, all the um, denominators and the era points in here. The era points are probabilistic, but they are also a proxy about uh, how active the validator is during uh, an era. The probabilistic part, uh, it's mostly because um, if the validator is validating a parachain, we likely have more points than if it's validating the relay chain. Speaking about uh, validators that are currently uh, validating a parachain, we, you can see it here. This uh, icon here will uh, tell you that this validator is currently validating parachain blocks. All right, then we can see the bonded funds as a, um, as a nominator. We bonded uh, 0.1 KSN and on the right side, our status is currently nominating and earning rewards because we have uh, one active uh, nomination. The rewards destination is the controller account, which means that uh, the rewards will be paid out to the controller account. And the controller account is KSM controller dash. In here, we can change the view of the validators from a list to metrics. Next, we go to pools. Here, we can uh, see the number of active pools the minimum amount to join a pool is 0.002 KSM, which is definitely lower 
than the amount uh, to be a nominator, that is uh, 0.1 KSM. And uh, the amount uh, to create a pool is 1 KSM. The bonded funds in uh, our current pool here are 0.005 KSM. And um, the pool that we are member is uh, the pool number 10. We currently don't have uh, unclaimed rewards because we just started to be a member of this pool. And the pool status is currently nominating and earning rewards. Here we have some detailed information about uh, the pool nominations. And these basically are the validators that um, are nominated in this pool. The pool uh, administrator is acting as a, a nominator, selected these uh, validators for this uh, specific pool. The pool statistics is um, this one here. So it's currently open. There are four pool members and uh, the total number of bonded tokens is uh, 37 KSM. There are like some rewards that have been claimed and uh, some uh, outstanding uh, rewards balance. We can scroll through the menu on the top here. We can see the four members of this pool. Then uh, we can also see all the pools and um, our membership is uh, in pool number 10. There are 74 pools and the minimum amount to join is this one here that we already mentioned. And um, for each pool, we have uh, the, uh, the pool ID, so the number, like uh, our pool is number 10. Then uh, the logo here um, with the, the number is telling us uh, the number of pool members. We can also see the pool nominations, so the validators that are nominated for each uh, pool. And if we like a specific pool, we, ch we can just uh, give it a heart and we will find it in the favorites list. Under payout, we can see the history of uh, the rewards that have been paid out but uh, in here uh, is empty because we just started to nominate and we just uh, joined the pool. So for now, this uh, will stay empty until uh, we start to receive uh, the rewards. Under the validator section, we can see specific information about the validators. For example, there are 2000 uh, validators and uh, only 1000 is uh, active and uh, producing blocks. And we can also see the average commission across uh, all the validators. Below here, we can uh, sort order the validator by commission. And uh, we have some useful filters. For example, we can exclude validators that have a missing identity. It is important that the validator has uh, registered an identity and uh, a contact information so that uh, nominators can uh, learn more about uh, their validators and if they want to, they can also contact them. So we can remove the validators with missing identity. Then uh, there might be some validator that blocked nominations. So they don't want people to nominate. For example, this one here, we can exclude those uh, validators. Next, we can also exclude validators that have 100% commission, which means that uh, they will not pay out uh, rewards to the nominators. They will uh, take the rewards from themselves. And uh, we can also exclude oversubscribed validators. These are validators that have already 256. This is the maximum number of uh, nominators that a validator can have. And uh, these are ranked by amount of staked tokens. And if you don't have enough tokens to be in the first 256 nominators, even if your validator is active, you will not be able to earn the rewards. So we can exclude these uh, oversubscribed validators as well. And um, we can also exclude inactive validators. We can see that uh, there are some active validators here, but there are also some that are waiting. We can exclude those by clicking also this here. To clear the filters, we can just click here, clear. As already mentioned before, for each validator, we can, uh, we can see the, the status active, the amount of KSM tokens that are bonded with this specific uh, validator and uh, the commission fee here. We can also see some uh, metrics. We have the self stake, nominator stake and uh, error points. And if we like uh, the validator, if we know the person uh, behind this validator or we are happy with the performance of a specific uh, validator, we can uh, 
click the heart and we will be able to find this validator in the favorites list. If you want to know more information about terminology or you need uh, more help, you can click on help. You can expand these um, sections and learn more about uh, each one of those. Or you can also go and visit uh, different support articles that will explain you, for example, how to connect your accounts and, uh, and more. If you have some feedback about the dashboard or you would like to propose uh, some features, you can uh, click here and you can send a feedback. And that's it. This is everything about uh, using the Polkadot staking dashboard. Thank you for watching and uh, I see you in another video.